Cheryl, it's John. Um, I'm just trying to give you a little bit of an update here. I told you that we went ahead and um, cracked open the ceiling because there were three layers of drywall and I just decided it was too much because um, they've had quite a bit of damage and it was kind of uneven and I didn't like that. So anyway, here's what I found. There's another ceiling up here. And I don't know if you can see but um, it has the original crown molding all the way around um, it appears that your house was originally um, I don't know if you can tell but so the dining room wall the kind of opening is where this room and it, there's actually a little bump out over by the closet. The crown molding actually goes around the chimney over there. But yeah, and then the second floor is sort of supported on this little knee wall that goes over the sub ceiling. So it's kind of this weird integrated structure where um, you can't actually take down any part of the ceiling without compromising the structure of the second floor because the second floor was built with a knee wall holding it up off the ceiling which is built off some newer walls so it's really uh, bizarre so there's no way that I can actually take this ceiling out and raise it so then you could um, get to this nice crown molding which you can't really even see oh there you go yeah um, right here and just replace that plaster but anyway I thought I'd show you it's really cool I'm gonna try and get a couple of links out if I can although the space is pretty pretty tight up there so I don't know if I can get up there and get tools in there and whatnot um, I'd like to also tear out the plaster and lath but just because of the weight hanging off the second floor but I don't know if that's feasible from this side so it might end up having to be something that you do when you redo the upstairs um, bathroom because it's something that you can get to from the top pretty easily and knock out. Um, anyway, I uh, just figured I'd update you. Um, see you later.